right your order is ready you ask for cow leg recipe which is unkobi and it is here <laughs> you're welcome back to my channel so in today's video i will be sharing how i make unkobi in two different ways there is the dry type and the you know dripping juice type <laughs> the juicy type so it depends on the one you prefer the first thing is to clean your cow leg properly like this part i'm holding now we call it the boots you know it's the part that the cow you know used to step on the ground to clean it properly you can use knife to scrape or iron sponge then you add your seasoning just bouillon cube is fine some onions and little salt of course our sauce like the mixture of oil and all that will contain salt also so you just have to add little salt so it doesn't the thought the salt doesn't really come out much in the meat using my pressure pot of course you know cow leg can be very strong like it's stubborn so if you have pressure pot it will hasten the cooking time or if you have patience you can cook all through <laughs> with your normal pot so it's cooking now and these are the ingredients other ingredients i'll be using for our you know ngongo <laughs> that's what we call it the palm the oil sauce so um, i have some crayfish here i have some calabash nutmeg that is ehuru i have some cameroon pepper this is my uba oil bean i have this is potash i've already mixed it in water and um the unkobi leaf it's as in the leaf we usually add to this unkobi for uh will i say it's just for design uh -huh. is otazi leaf and some onion then the red oil so what is happening here for the other one that i made you know to be juicy i use ngu what is ngu ngu is like dried palm front like dry palm front you now burn it and when you now burn it you now you have the see this is just the ash now you mix it in water and sieve the date off and all that and so that is what i'm using for the other juicy corby um one thing with this ngu that is the one made there from dry palm front is that it's healthier than the potash so if you're having problems with potash like i don't like potash is this or that you can go with this other option so the uh, mixing process or the process of making the unkobi is just the same like whether you are using potash or the ungu it's just the same process which you start by as in um, adding you have your oil maybe you use a bowl or is it's preferably you use a pot to mix because you need to steam it a bit as in after the whole mixing you have to steam it so i prefer using a pot so in the pot you have your you add your palm oil to the pot then start pouring in the potash or the ngu little by little like little by little not at once so as you are pouring your stirring and you know you know the consistency you want it to be so if um you feel like is in if you want it dry you don't need to pour much of those things uh -huh. but then in a case whereby you want it that juicy you have to add more and also the red oil has to be you know uh more to like you make the red the point of red oil to be more than the, the, like i said the usual uh -huh. so so this is me you know trying to mix up everything so the next the first thing that is entering is my crayfish followed by some cameroon pepper as you can see i didn't add all the cameroon pepper at once i just went in with the calabash nutmeg so i mix everything up This is me testing hmm, to know if hmm, I feel like 
the pepper didn't really come out like it needs to be a kind of hot little hot so i'll still add extra pepper but now i'm adding some bouillon cube just one or half piece of bouillon cube is fine i'm adding extra cameroon pepper mm? this is our uba but it's fine it's not a must that i use uba this is just extra like for the other recipe that i made juicy i didn't add uba I nearly forgot my salt so i just add a little salt so mix and mix and mix remember the when you're um, cooking the cow leg mm, you have to cook it somehow dry not that totally dry and like you can see look at look at what is in the pot the sauce that's remained there so i will still add everything like so that it taste of the meat will be there if you add too much water you know this thing is not supposed to be washed so if you add too much water and uh, when cooking the kobe like the meat the cow leg might not really have that sweet taste so this is the best way to cook it so for the other one because i might not really be showing you how um i prepare the I cook the cow leg as in for the other juicy type and uh, for that one I kind of uh, there is more little stock here little stock remain that's why you are seeing it like this so I poured everything in making it light why this one is thick that's just the difference you know guys this unkobi is everything if anything i want to make my husband feel like a super of course he's a superman he's a dogu now but anything i want to make him you know remind him that guy you be a dogu man you be guy man i go make this and sometimes it's really like a surprise like as he's coming back from work hey i'll not bring this out i will save him this like it's really you know it excites him that much he enjoys it so much and you know what this thing is like in the when you go to any nigerian restaurant or hotel where they do all these things or joint <laughs> you know how how the charge of what you cannot eat it will boil you to eat some kobe that is uh, up to this quantity of course because it's very costly now but look at just this thing i did now i know how much i use in making this thing and they did they, they would now use ojoro that would their ojoro plate and now put that thing for you you now go and pay them twenty thousand why now but me now that is showing you how to do this thing eh? eh from the comfort of your home and the whole family will enjoy this thing you will not subscribe to my channel you will not support me you will not even share my video you will not even tell me sis you are doing well is it fair is it fair look at how i'm just you know revealing the secret of unkobi to you and you are just you get my do see the beautiful unkobi now how will you resist this how would you like one of the dripping juice now oh guys make sure you subscribe to my channel like my video by giving a thumbs up yes mm? give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new here drop your comment for me i love you i love 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 you thank you always for your support bye